欢迎大家今日嚟到二零一九观众。Welcome to the twenty nineteen press briefing on updates of COVID nineteen cases. On this stage, we have Professor Sophia Chan, Secretary for Food and Health, Dr. Long Silfai, Director of Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation. Uh, Dr. Edwin Choi, Controller Center for Health Protection and um, Head of Communicable Disease Branch, Dr. Chuang Shok Kwan, uh, Dr. Thomas Sit, Assistant Director of AFCD, and also Dr. Larry Lee, Chief Manager of Hospital Authority. The Secretary will first give her opening remarks and then um, we will have a briefing on the pet shop case. And then we will go back to the cases for today and then back to Q&A session. Friends from the media, fellow citizens, well, in the past couple of days, we have seen uh, two uh, worrying developments in the pandemic situation. First, uh, involves the Omicron uh, cluster caused uh, by a uh, those who have been in a designated quarantine hotel. Uh, the family uh, lives in Tongmun House of Taihang East Estate. Um, there is expected vertical transmission. The uh, Center for Health Protection, together with relevant government departments and experts, are now inspecting the site. Another worrying sign involves a Delta case. Uh, found in a pet shop worker and also the latest development just today together with the director of uh, agriculture fishes and conservation the controller for center for health protection and other colleagues would like to uh, give you an update of the latest situation and our corresponding measures now we'll first talk about uh, the case involving the uh, pet shop worker the afcd has already uh, taken, uh, has already attested animals uh, in the Causeway Bay branch of the pet shop uh, where the uh, case or the patient worked. And then uh, we have got uh, preliminary positive uh, samples involving hamsters. So this morning I convened an emergency meeting with uh, Professor Gabriel uh, Leung, uh, Professor Yun Kwok Wai, and uh, Professor Hoshi Chang, and uh, together with our uh, uh, CHP and also FCD, well, I uh, had a briefing from them, and we did a risk assessment. And also, we discussed uh, what measures uh, should we take. Although uh, internationally, uh, there is no evidence that pets can pass uh, the um, coronavirus to humans. However, to play safe for any um, possible routes of transmission that we cannot rule out now, we will take precautionary measures because we have to uh, minimize the risk of uh, transmission as far as possible. Later on, the controller of the Center for Health Protection and also uh, Dr. Leung from the uh, who is the Director of Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation, will give you an update of the investigation, the relevant precautionary measures, and also points to note for uh, hamsters keepers. And of course, I'd like to mention that whether we talk about the uh, family cluster of Omicron uh, found in the uh, designated Quarantine hotel, well, that's a worrying sign I mentioned. Uh, or whether we talk about a case uh, involved in uh, the pet shop, they were all identified through testing. And this exactly uh, shows us the importance of early testing. And I also noted that uh, for some cases, although they've already got symptoms, they did not go for testing immediately. And uh, these um, cases were still moving around, carrying the virus for a few days in the community. So may I take this opportunity to appeal to the public? Now, we're in a critical period of our fight against the disease. Uh, even if you have had very mild symptoms, you should seek medical uh, consultation and be tested at once. And I'd like to appeal to all doctors and medical personnel, do not overlook mild symptoms. You should arrange for patients to be tested so the cases can be identified 
notified as soon as possible we can intercept the transmission chain and then uh, stop this outbreak. The Omicron variant is very strong and experts have already pointed this out ever since it has spread into the community other than the uh, suspic suspected vertical transmission at Tongmun House. Uh, there have been uh, two other vertical transmission clusters, which are Mason Building and Maple Gardens. And the Silka Sea View Hotel has seen transmission between rooms. In addition, some transmitted cases actually occurred uh, whilst uh, all parties are wearing masks. So we have to really be vigilant. As I have appealed to the public many times during this crucial time of fighting the pandemic, we must try our best to avoid uh, gatherings, especially uh, cross uh, family gatherings. And everyone must take care of their um, hygiene, to wear masks, and of course to monitor their physical conditions. Those who have not been vaccinated should do so as soon as possible. And for those who are vaccinated, please take your booster shot as soon as possible so that you'll be able to build a, a protective barrier for your family. I also call upon the public to pay attention to the uh, premises um, specified by the government. If you have been to places where there have been confirmed cases, to take a test as soon as possible. Uh, we must all work together to uh, cut off the transmission of the disease and we must try to overcome the epidemic. Thank you. Dr. Choi, good afternoon, friends of the media. Um, yesterday, the Department of Health Center for Health Protection announced uh, the case number 13047 about a, a pet shop uh, worker. And there is another case that's 13059. And we have seen that um, there are samples in both the animals and the confirmed case. I would like to invite Dr. Truong to tell us about the latest cases, and then I will then brief you on follow-up actions. Well, thank you. So I've reported on 13047 before. This is a 23-year-old woman who lives in um, number four Tong Sing Road in Aberdeen. She has already taken two shots of BioNTech. On January 11th, she started having a sore throat and a runny nose. And on January 15th, um, her sample was tested positive with CT value of 21. Uh, she uh, was admitted into hospital on January 21st uh, with CT value of 27. She works at Little Boss Pet Shop. She has always been going to work other than uh, 27th of December, 16, uh, Jan January 3rd and, J and January 20th. Uh, she has not been in contact with any uh, previous confirmed cases and has not had any travel history. She uh, wore masks at work and she uh, usually uh, cleans the cages and feeds the small animals in the pet shop. And when customers uh, come to the shop who want to bu uh, buy uh, hamsters and other pets, uh, she would take these animals out of the cages uh, to show the customers. She would buy takeout breakfast, and she takes her lunch at a later hour, around 3 to 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and she would eat in the shop. She only works in this one shop. Uh, during her days off on January 17th, she has been to Q Green uh, Hotel to spend a night at staycation, and she mainly stayed in her room without using other hotel facilities. On January 3rd, she went to a friend's house in Kennedy Town and also visited a Kamyut and Ayat um, noodle shop. 
and she has also been to a uh, Heidi Lao hot pot in Yao Mate. Uh, she hasn't been to any uh, high risk areas or linked to confirmed cases. All her close contacts have been sent to quarantine, a total of 16 people. We have also issued a compulsory testing order on the building she lives in. Um, 76 of them all tested negative. So there is a warehouse in uh, Tai Po for this pet shop, and those who work in the warehouse have all been sent for testing. A 23-year-old woman who works in the warehouse was tested uh, un con uncertain. Um, and then she had a negative report at hospital. But then in order to be safe, we uh, also um, um, issued a RTD in uh, Tai Wai uh, Estate Khoi War House. And all the people who live in that building tested negative. Today we have a confirmed case, 13059, who is a 67-year-old woman. Uh, she's retired and she lives together in a uh, housing uh, house in Kaolong Court, Upper Teen. She has taken two shots of uh, Sinovac. She started having a headache on January 12th and started coughing on January 14th. She visited a private doctor on the uh, 14th of January and then visited the outpatient clinic at St. Paul's and the doctor suggested her to take a test. She uh, submitted a uh, sample on January 16th and found that uh, she was tested uh, positive with CT value of 13. On January 4th, her daughter and her uh, family member has been, another family member has also been to Little Boss to buy a hamster. And on January 8th, uh, she also visited the shop together with her daughter to uh, try to uh, um, change a cage. And she also bought food for the hamster. At that time, uh, uh, one th 13047 uh, assisted her and uh, helped her uh, settle the bill. So um, they were both wearing masks and she stayed for 15 minutes. And she browsed around the shop during that time um, to take her pick of cages. And of course, uh, she talked to 13047, but it wasn't very close. Her daughter uh, now is asymptomatic, and the family has been sent to quarantine. Her husband uh, uh, was admitted to hospital yesterday, uh, testing preliminary positive. We suspect that uh, there was some sort of transmission on January 8th. Um, especially uh, when she had interaction with 13047. 13047 showed symptoms on January 11th and tracing back uh, from January 7th. Um, uh, 13047 assisted her and helped her settle her uh, building shop and tracing back we know that there were about uh, there were 143 transactions during that period and for 112 of them uh, we have the contact numbers because they were members 22 of them we do not have the contacts yet we are going to uh, trace these people and for those close contacts, they would be sent to a quarantine. So from January 7th to January 15th, between this period, well, there was, there was one day, which is January 10th, in which she did not go to work. We're taking out January 10th. All those who have been to the shop uh, between January 7th to January 15th, who had contact with 13047, would be contacted and sent to quarantine. Uh, we would look at the transaction details uh, to uh, try to trace the credit card details and Alipay details. Uh, some of them paid cash. And uh, for those who remember who have been to the shop, please contact us as soon as possible. Yesterday, uh, we together with the AFCD visited the shop to take some environmental samples and also animal samples. They will give us more details uh, later on. There are over 100 animals over there. We also uh, visited a Tai Po Center at the Tai Po Warehouse and took some samples. 
uh, we've taken 88 samples in these two places. Some environmental samples in the Taipo warehouse, uh, which are samples taken out of the um, cages and the uh, feeding areas have been tested positive. So about 20 to 30 workers at the Taipo warehouse would be sent to quarantine. Well, that's all I have to report today. Um. Thank you, Dr. Zhang. So uh, to sum up, according to epidemiological information we have, we suspect that at least two uh, sources of transmission first as close uh, transmission uh, between the customer and also uh, the uh, shop assistant, a very uh, a common uh, form of transmission because we have a new um, a preliminary positive case, so we will uh, carry out close contact tracing. So for those uh, who have been at the shop in between the 7th to the 15th of January, uh, those who have been in contact with their shop assistant, they should be subject to quarantine. Uh, there are about 150 of them. And uh, the center is now uh, notifying these customers uh, to uh, be admitted to a quarantine center. And we're still investigating uh, the cause of animal infection. We don't know the possibility that uh, there is a direct uh, transmission between animals and humans because a few hamsters at the shop are p positive and uh, maybe uh, it involves a batch of hamsters uh, dated the 7th of January. Uh, because we have two cases of human uh, infections here, we will well uh, contact those who have uh, bought uh, hamsters from uh, the shop after the 7th of January uh, to uh, um, be um, subject to mandatory quarantine. Uh, according to our information, there are 300 transactions in the shop. We will have to check uh, what have they purchased. And then on the 12, second, 22nd of December, some hamsters were bought and then uh, there were samples tested positive in the transient center. So for those who have purchased hamsters in Hong Kong after the 22nd of December, please hand over your hamsters to the AFCD and the department will um, brief you on the um, action to be taken. So uh, for members of the public who have purchased hamsters after 22nd of December, please uh, be subject to mandatory quarantine. Do not go uh, to be um, tested. So do not go out or join any social function until your first uh, sample is tested negative. Now for those uh, who have been tested positive, then uh, the hamster owners will have to be uh, subject to quarantine, AFCD. On the 17th of January, our department received notification from uh, the Center of Health Protection. There is a case of, um, uh, of a confirmed case of a worker of a pet shop because many animals are involved. Together with uh, the uh, CHP, we went to the pet shop Little Boss in Causeway Bay to follow up. and. We uh, took a total of 125 samples from the animals and the shop to be tested uh, for uh, COVID-19. 178 hamsters and chinchillas and rabbits were involved. Among the samples taken, 11 have been uh, tested preliminary positive. All Positive samples were taken from hamsters. Samples from other animals have been tested negative so far. And then this uh, pet shop has got a warehouse in Taipo for storage of small animals. FCD and CHP went to the uh, warehouse yesterday to take 511 um, samples from chinchillas and uh, hamsters and uh, guinea pigs and rabbits. We are now still uh, carrying out the uh, laboratory test. Uh, results are pending. But some environmental samples have been tested positive for uh, the uh, COVID-19 virus and all the to lower the risk of uh, 
transmission of COVID-19, the AFCD will take uh, a series of precautionary measures. First, the all animals at uh, at some um, Little Boss Causeway Bay and its storehouse in Taipu will be tested for COVID-19, and they will be then uh, dealt with humanitarian in on uh, uh, humanitarian and uh, the purpose is to lower the risk of spread of the disease for all pet shops that sell hamsters they should suspend operation at once and all their hamsters for sale would be seized by the AFCD for testing and then for humanitarian treatment afterwards and for small animals uh, being sold, uh, including uh, chinchillas and uh, guinea pigs and rabbits, they will also be tested for the coronavirus until they are tested negative to our satisfaction. Then uh, these pet shops can resume operation. Pet shops will also be required to be uh, thoroughly cleansed and uh, sterilized. Apart from uh, the Cosway Bay branch of uh, Little Boss and its warehouse in Taipo, there are 34 pet shops in Hong Kong that can sell hamsters, involving a thousand hamsters. At the pet shop in Causeway Bay and in the warehouse in Taipo, there are about over a thousand small animals. So we roughly estimate that we'll have to deal with about 2,000 small animals, including uh, hamsters and other small animals. AFCD will at once stop the importation of small mammals, including hamsters, and will also review the quarantine requirements for importation of such animals. And we will consider asking exporting countries to uh, do to carry out uh, the COVID-19 test and whether they should be subject to the rank of testing upon arrival in Hong Kong. According to our records, we have got two batches of importation of hamsters. One on the 22nd of December last year and 2nd to 7th of January this year. We have consulted experts and are we of the view that the risks of uh, these two batches are higher, and uh, the risks of hamsters imported before these two days are lower. So we strongly appeal to the public, if you have uh, bought a hamster at a pet shop in Hong Kong after the 22nd of December, do uh, hand over your hamsters to the AFCD for humanitarian treatment to, uh, lo to ensure public health and to take care of animal welfare. We appeal to the public, under no circumstances should you just dump your pets on the streets. We have this hotline, 2611 uh, double six, double 2269. You can inquire about the uh, handling of hamsters. And you're also welcome to uh, hand over your hamsters directly to our animal management center at uh, Anti-South. All pet owners uh, should observe good personal hygiene. And after uh, you have uh, been in contact with uh, animals and their food and their uh, stuff, uh, you should wash your hands and do not uh, kiss uh, your pets. And uh, if you feel unwell, do not contact your pets. If uh, you see any change in the health of uh, your pets, uh, do consult a vet as soon as possible. And on uh, hamster keeping, now if you own a hamster, you should uh, keep your hamsters at home. Do not take them out. Dr. Chuang will now tell you about the other cases. Yesterday, there are 18 confirmed cases. 
Uh, case number 13054 to 13071, eight, 15 of them um, are tested with N501Y and one with L452R, uh, two are still unconfirmed because we are still undergoing testing. And seven of them are imported cases, 11 of them are local cases out of a total of 18 cases. For the local cases, uh, we have uh, found a uh, link 13056. We have already talked about a family member who lives in Taokok who she has been to um, her visited her family in Yao Tong and on January 9th she was tested negative and after being sent to quarantine she has now become a confirmed case 13063 to 13071 is the close contact of 13045 they include uh, two families one family is the family of 13045 including 13064 13071 and 13070 and 13067 so this includes the father uh, daughter and three sons and they are all non-vaccinated the father is uh, currently out of work uh, very often well since he lives in uh, Tai Hang Tong Moon building he uh, will walk around uh, Sham Shui Po Nam Chang Street and would um, smoke around there we still need to follow up. Uh, he usually loiters around that area and he would go home for lunch and dinner. The children are 13071. Uh, 13071 is uh, currently not working. And 13070 uh, goes to school at a Creative Media in Kowloon City. Two other children, one uh, goes to Delia Memorial School. Uh, she attends secondary school um, year three, so she attends uh, class 3M, and the last day she attended school was January 4th. Uh, and the other uh, child is a primary two student, also at Delia Memorial School. And uh, this student ha has been attending exams in the last few days. We have seen another preliminary confirmed case at Delia Memorial School. Um, so this student has taken um, exams in the same classroom. Uh, these uh, they are not very good friends, they're only acquaintances, and we suspect that there may be some transmission within the classroom. So all those who have taken exams in the same classroom in class 3M would need to go to quarantine. Uh, the other family lives in uh, four, number 4502456 four, in uh, Powa Court in Umcho Street in Changsha Wan. So, the father works at Food Panda. This is case number 13068. The last day he went to work was about 10 days ago. He uh, usually uh, delivers in the Sham Shui Po district. He has been to uh, immigration um, building in Wan Chai and has been to first floor of the uh, revenue building because he has moved. On January 10th, um, he went to pick up his uh, daughter at Silker Sea View Hotel and we still need to follow up on other places they have visited. The wife is 13065. Uh, she is a 31-year-old housewife. She, together with her husband, has taken two doses of Beyond Tech. She mainly visits the wet market. On January 14th, uh, she uh, went to the um, outdoor uh, wet market because uh, 
uh, she would usually uh, go to buy gro groceries. And 13063 is the child, and it, he goes to Li Cheng Oak Government Primary School. The last day of school he attended was January 13th. Otherwise, he would mainly stay at home. And there's a one year old child, case number 13066. The baby mainly stays at home. And she felt unwell on January 16th, since they are all positive cases. We have noted that these two families live in Sham Shui Po district, one of whom would um, loiter around the Nam Chang Street area for a long period of time. Therefore, we would arrange for more testing for those, and we call upon those who live on Nam Chang Street to undergo testing to see whether there are silent transmissions in the area. There are 10 preliminary positive cases today. I would like to touch on some of the local cases. Uh, one is an untraceable case right now, a 26-year-old uh, woman. She lives in uh, Phase 3 of Meifu Chun Estate. Uh, she teaches at uh, at a kindergarten. and. She has uh, taken two shots of um, Beyond Tech. So she she teaches at Learning Habit Kindergarten. So on January tenth, uh, she started having a fever and then a and then developed a cough. She visited the doctor and then uh, went to the Pactin testing center. On January tenth. A Sunday, she visited the donkey in Chim Sha Choi West in K11, and she went to OD Lies for lunch around uh, noon. On January 15th, uh, she mainly uh, went to school taking the MTR. On around 6 p.m. on January 15th, uh, she visited K11 to wait for friends and then walked over to Harbor City uh, for shopping. Or well, she uh, would mainly um, just basically goes to work every day. And then, uh, as I said earlier, the student of the case number 13069, uh, she lives in Tong Chong. Um, and uh, she, has uh, she has taken two shots of um, Beyond Tech. On January 14th, he went for exam. And then he has been to the uh, synagogue in Tong Chong for a short period of time. And, and he lives in Green Cove in Tong Chong. And for other times, he would mainly stay at home. So another case related to 13056, um, he has been to Little Boss, a 67-year-old man. He uh, developed a sore throat, and he's a preliminary positive case. He has taken two shots of Sinovac. He likes to go to take lunch at Ming Sing restaurant or in Long Wui in Arpadine. There are two other cases. Uh, a case, uh, um, the person lives in uh, Tong Yut building. Um, in flat 14. So it's a mother and a child. The child is a K1 student in St. Thomas uh, Kindergarten. And the child developed a fever on January 11th, went for testing on January 17th, and tested positive. Dong Moon building was subjected to compulsory testing on January 16th. The test at that, the test result at that time was negative. And um, he goes to K1 in St. Thomas Kindergarten, and maybe some of the classmates would have to be quarantined. The mother has taken two shots of BioNTech. And 
also uh, gone for compulsory testing. So uh, they usually go to the wet market nearby, and and they do not know the family downstairs, and therefore we suspect that there may also be a vertical transmission in that building. Our colleagues and uh, Dr. Yoon are now inspecting the site, and some of the residents there may have to be quarantined. So this is all for my report today. Dr. Lee, can you give us an update of the situation with HJ? It's at 9 a.m. today. In the past 24 hours, we have um, 19 reportable cases. And uh, during the same period, uh, 30 patients uh, were discharged. So with 12,446 patients recovered and been discharged. It's at 9 a.m. today, 353 patients were being treated at three different places, namely Northland Tao Hospital Hong Kong Infection Control Center, HA uh, Infectious Disease Center, and also uh, Asia World Expo um, Community Treatment Facilities. They are all in stable condition. Now we have Q&As. Please identify the organization you represent. Uh, this one in green on the left-hand side. I'm from Now TV. Uh, with regard to the hamster pet shop, uh, do you think it's more likely uh, for the hamster to have passed the disease to human beings or uh, uh, did the virus come together with uh, stuff carrying uh, the hamsters? So you have decided to put down all hamsters being uh, sold in all pet shops. What, what, how have you arrived at this decision? Is it that uh, you do not respect her life? Last June, uh, there was a suspected uh, case of transmission at Little Boss, but no such decision was made. And you referred to an unlinked case in uh, phase three of Meifu Sanchun. Uh, is it case number 74 of Broadway Street? If so, is uh, very near the Dahlia Memorial School. Now, because we talk about the upper stories of uh, Dahlia Memorial School, could there be vertical transmission or have uh, the um, residents there been affected by students of the school? Uh, perhaps I uh, should uh, take the question about uh, why uh, hamsters at pet shops and also uh, the warehouse uh, should be put down. Last year, uh, if I remember correctly, the samples were tested negative. But this time, uh, both uh, s uh, samples from hamsters and uh, from the environment have given us positive results to play safe and for public health, it is safer to uh, put down the animals and so the virus will not spread. Dr. Choi, uh, according uh, to your epidemiological study, we have the following uh, suspicions. Now, there is one employee tested positive and we have more than one animal samples are positive and uh, also environmental samples including cages uh, that are posted tested positive and also there is also a customer tested positive so there can be a few possibilities there was about five to ten minute of direct contact between the customer and the uh, pet shop worker and we have more environmental samples that were tested positive uh, so uh, did the virus uh, come from the uh, environmental to the animal or did the animals carry the uh, virus uh, itself? We have uh, to uh, investigate further. But then we have found environmental samples tested positive at the warehouse. So we don't rule the possibility that uh, the animals might be carrying the virus when uh, being imported into Hong Kong. So if uh, the animals have come with the virus, then um, members of the public who are in contact with these animals have high risk. And according to our records, there are two batches of uh, hamsters with high risks. And that's why we've come to this decision. 
Dr. Zhang, yes, uh, that uh, teacher lives in number 74 of uh, Broadway Street. So whether there is any uh, contamination or cross infection, we have to investigate. I'm from uh, Phoenix TV. I'd like to know where the hamsters uh, at um, Little Boss uh, were imported. For those who have bought those hamsters, are they uh, under risk of being infected? So uh, does that mean that the virus will be in the community for a long time and then we have little hope of um, having zero infection in the community? Now for these two uh, batches of hamsters, they came from the Netherlands. A risk of infection. Dr. Choi? We're now uh, investigating the uh, cases as said by the director. This batch came from the Netherlands. We have uh, identified two batches that are more risky. Uh, imported on the 22nd of December and the 7th of January by the same company. So uh, you have purchased a hamster from the January 7th batch, especially from the shop in Causeway Bay. Uh, the risk is highest because we found quite a number of uh, animals with uh, positive samples there. So if you have purchased hamsters uh, from this shop uh, after the 7th of January, the risk is high. You have uh, to be subject to quarantine. But for those who have purchased hamsters from elsewhere, after 22nd of December, the hamsters uh, should be handed to the AFCD and you'll be subject to testing. If the first test uh, results in a negative, results in negative, then uh, it's better. But if it is positive, then you'll be uh, subject to um, compulsory testing. So we have to check further environmental samples and also uh, hamsters before we can decide on the way forward or before we can say how risky it is for um, animals to pass the virus to humans. But as I said, we have stopped the importation of small animals. Hopefully, we can minimize the risks for the time being. Uh, on the right-hand side, the lady in a black jacket. I'm from Oriental Daily. For how many of the hamsters you have tested are actually tested positive? Do you have evidence to show that there is transmission of the virus between hamsters? If you do not have any scientific evidence and yet you have decided to uh, put them down, does that mean that you uh, do not value your life at all? It's mentioned that both patches, batches came from the Netherlands. I'd like to know uh, the number of hamsters we're talking about. And have you contacted the Netherlands, whether they have uh, had a similar um, situation there? I'll take the uh, first part of the question, and my colleague will take the second part. At the pet shop in Causeway Bay, we have uh, taken 125 samples, among them 11 samples uh, tested positive uh, for the um, COVID-19 virus. And all the uh, samples were taken from samples. Now at Taipo Warehouse, we have also taken samples. We are now uh, still um, are working on the laboratory test, but there are some environmental samples that are positive already. As for the number of animals from the Netherlands, whether uh, they have similar incidents there, perhaps uh, the vet can help us. Now for the second question, whether uh, there will be infection among hamsters, according to uh, literature and, uh, ex and experiments, in a laboratory, if a hamster is infected with uh, the coronavirus, uh, there will uh, be infection among uh, the, the group naturally or in nature. 
I think this is the first time we have found a hamsters um, contracting the virus naturally. And according to our understanding, in the past 12 months, or the Netherlands have not found a uh, coronavirus among their animal groups because if they have, they uh, would have to notify uh, the WHO. And according to its website, uh, there is no mention of such an outbreak. Well, Let me supplement. In relation to these batches, on December 22nd, there are about 1,800 hamsters in that batch. And for the January 7th batch, the total number of hamsters were 838. At this time, although we only have some preliminary testing results from environmental samples, there is a possibility that the that the uh, the people are infected by the hamsters there is a risk with the information uh, under the information that we have right now we hope to cut this transmission as soon as possible we know that uh, we have to handle a large number of hamsters therefore we have consulted experts and came to the decision that we must try to cut off this transmission. Especially uh, these two batches of hamsters. We must try to cut the transmission link off and therefore after testing we are going to put them down. Next question please. Good afternoon from Ming Pao. I would like to clarify. So do you mean that all hamsters um, after December 22nd have to be put down? Uh, why do you not only limit them to those two batches of hamsters and to put down all the hamsters? Because you only stated that the batches from December 22nd and January 7th would be of high risk. So why do you need to uh, take down all the hamsters? So how do you define those uh hamsters uh, from the origin or how and for case number 13047 has she visited the typo warehouse uh, to handle documents or just been there according to your understanding for the two batches of hamsters that were imported on December 22nd and on January 7th. Did these hamsters only, uh, were they only sent to the Causeway Bay pet shop or were they sent to other pet shops as well? For the 23 year old who uh, is still tested uncertain and who works at the Typo warehouse, do you have updated information? Has she been tested positive? at this moment. I also like to confirm the two cases in Little Boss. Can you confirm that both the customer and uh, case number 13047 were wearing masks at that time? You said they had some interaction. How did the customer pay? Uh, was it by electronic means or by cash? And for the kindergarten teacher, uh, the 26-year-old female who works in Meifu. How many students does this teacher teach? And how many people in the kindergarten would need to be quarantined? Out of the all the samples from hamsters, have you also done genome sequencing to compare this with the confirmed persons? Thank you. 
uh, how about AFCD answer the first part of the question? Thank you. You asked about uh, the shops that took in these imported hamsters. There are about uh, 15 shops that sell hamsters. So mainly the hamsters were sent to these 15 shops, but we are not sure whether uh, the hamsters were then sold off to other retail shops as well. We'll need to follow up on that trace. We request all shops who are permitted to sell hamsters to uh, let us recall all the hamsters. Well, when we see positive cases, of course, we would conduct genome sequencing to look at the origin of the infection. At this moment, we do not know where the origin comes from. As to the question on why we need to put down all the hamsters, uh, that are sent in after December 22nd. We believe that when hamsters are infected, um, uh, we should cut off the transmission from those hamsters to prevent an outbreak. Therefore, For customers who have bought hamsters from the date of December 22nd, you can now uh, uh, hand those hamsters to us. On the typo warehouse worker, uh, the test result was uncertain, but then uh, she was tested negative at the hospital. The customer and the uh, sales interaction, I'll defer to Dr. Chuang. Well, according to our understanding, case number 13047 has not been to the Taipei warehouse. Well, currently, the unconfirmed case is not a case because she has not been confirmed. She, however, works at the Taipei warehouse and therefore needs to be quarantined. 13047 and 13059. Within those uh, short 10-odd uh, minutes of interaction, we would need to revisit CCTV. Uh, my understanding is that all of them were wearing masks and there, were, there was about one meter up distance between them. I remember that uh, the customer used a credit card, but then we need to confirm this. The preliminary confirmed kindergarten teacher teaches one morning class and one afternoon class, and in between, uh, there was some time for snacks. But we need to further look into how many people is involved. Next question, please. Madam Morning Post, have authorities confirmed it was really the hamsters infecting the shopkeeper? If this hasn't been confirmed, why is there such a rush to euthanize all the hamsters and other small animals? Have there been any leads from genetic sequencing of the shop saleswoman compared with recent imported cases? Uh, second is, uh, if this scenario of animal to human transmission is actually the case, why didn't we see a pet shop cluster outbreak before when there was a local case with the alpha variant who bought a chinchilla? And Delta also ran rampant through the rest of the world last year, yet we didn't see a pet shop cluster occur. So are we really sure this is what happened? And uh, what should worried pet owners do now? Uh, what are signs they should be looking for to see if their hamsters are sick? And how can owners protect themselves and their pets? Thank you. Dr. Leung, ASCD. Your question is about, um, first you asked about the genetic sequencing. Yes, we will do genetic sequencing as um, much as possible to confirm where the virus come from and how it's infected. But it's, it's, um, currently, it's, it's, we only have the onset of the disease, so we need to collect more samples, and also blood samples, swab samples, to do all the tracing. You mentioned about why we haven't confirmed the virus of actually from the hamster transmit to human, and then we do make a decision to cull all the hamsters. 
but you you need to realize and understand now the hamsters already get infected where there is a human infected hamster but now they're infected they are excreting the viruses and the virus they can infect other animals and also they can infect uh, other hamsters and also human being so uh, we don't want to kill all the animals but we have to protect public health and animal health and we have no choice we have to uh, make a firm decision you also mentioned about the um, uh, international uh, report they well, they don't have outbreaks overseas on pet shops and why we have to make a haste decision and uh, uh, currently yes that's true there's no uh, uh, actual uh, 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 literature said pets animals can carry the virus but however we already get evidence and literature proved hamsters has got the receptors of this COVID-19 virus similar to human so hamsters usually use as a model to study this virus if the virus get into hamster it has been proved in the laboratory they can infect each other that's why we have to make a quick and prompt decision to stop the outbreak oh, I got time. Sorry. Uh, so, um, in, in view of the um, present epidemiological investigations, there are two possibilities at least of the uh, transmission. One is the uh, present to person transmission that the um, shopkeepers transmit the, the disease to the, um, the customers. Um, but um, their contact is quite brief, just five to ten minutes, and with a mask on. So, this is of course one possibility because the main route of transmission is person to person. The second possibility that we cannot, can, cannot rule out this, this time because um, is the um, it's quite a large amount of um, animals, the hamsters, are, are tested with positive results. And um, with the shopkeepers, which has a more frequent exposure to um, the uh, hamster in the environment, we cannot exclude the possibility that um, the shopkeepers was in fact, um, was uh, actually infected from the, um, the hamsters. So um, we have to do more investigation like the testing of uh, other animals and also the environmental um, investigations. Another um, hint that uh, because the present infection of the case is a, a delta strain, a delta strain, which is not quite common in Hong Kong because at present uh, the predominant strain is, is uh, Omicron. This is quite unusual if it is a print print transmission that may be a silent transmission is occurring in Hong Kong that we cannot detect it for a um, delta strain. So um, of course we, we have to um, continue the investigations to rule out all the possibility, but at present there are at least two possibilities. Yes. Yes. Uh, we are trying to match the, um, the, the genetic sequencing of the present case with all those previously um, detected cases in Hong Kong. There's no such match in Hong Kong. But um, I know that the, for the animal uh, tests, um, our colleagues of the um, AFCD are asking uh, the University of Hong Kong to conduct a genetic sequencing test for the animal uh, positive results. Uh, uh, the journalist on the side in the very last row. Now, uh, does that mean that uh, the social distancing measures will not be lifted uh, on the fourth day of the Lunar New Year? And I'd like to know uh, whether customers uh, will be given any compensation when it comes to handing back of the hamsters. I'd like to know how those hamsters were shipped to Hong Kong uh, by plane or by sea. Uh, were there any um, um, crew members infected. I'd like to know uh, whether these um, hamsters were directly delivered to shops. Were there any risks? Now we talk about 15 uh, branches of uh, the uh, pet shop. I'd like to know whether uh, they uh, will be directly uh, put down. And for the 23-year-old uh, worker who works in the warehouse, is he a clerical worker or does he handle animals. And now uh, for the two preliminary uh, case of uh, Kalong Court and uh, Fung Moon House, do you uh, have details? And uh, 
how do you encourage uh, the ethnic minorities, uh, some of the ethnic minorities uh, involved in the new cluster may not be able to read uh, English. So will you give them samples to uh, test themselves? The director of AFC and the controller of CPH and Dr. Zhang all said that in this uh, pet shop case, different investigations are in progress. So when we have uh, results, we will uh, let you know as soon as possible. But then we would like to give you information we have now and also uh, our, the risks we believe to be present and also measures we are taking uh, to you at once. As regards uh, the uh, future development, whether there will be more unlinked cases in the community, uh, of course, uh, that is uh, subject to further investigation. At first, uh, we had some unlinked cases, but we were able to find the links subsequently. And as uh, Dr. Zhang announced, uh, some of the cases were found at our quarantine center. So our uh, um, control measures would include asking people to be tested as soon as possible. Whenever we uh, identify a case, uh, close contacts will be put in a quarantine center. And if we suspect that somebody is at risk, uh, we may uh, carry out uh, a restricted restriction testing uh, exercise. And then uh, we'll also carry out immediate investigation if uh, there is the risk of a vertical transmission and people will also be evacuated. In this case, the pet shop involves uh, both animals and also uh, the shop in general and also important animals are also involved. So we have decided to take these immediate measures. Uh, the reporter asked uh, what would happen to our social distancing measures come the fourth day of uh, the Nuna New Year. Well, this is a bit premature to say because we are now uh, devoting our uh, efforts to uh, tackle the current situation, whether there will be compensation. I think we should now focus on the um, pandemic first. Regarding uh, the batches, uh, they uh, were flown into Hong Kong. The two batches on the 22nd of December and the uh, 7th of January through the same company, uh, that is a Little Boss. Little Boss has got a warehouse in Taipo and 15 retail outlets, including the uh, Cosway Bay shop, uh, where a lady is now a confirmed case. We we'll go to all 15 shops uh, to seize all hamsters, as well as uh, taking samples from the remaining animals and the environment. We've got 20 uh, pet shops that are also selling hamsters as well. So uh, they will uh, be uh, followed up in this exercise. Now, uh, for uh, the lady who lives in Koi Wa House of Taiwan Estate is a 23-year-old female. Uh, the result is negative, so it's not a case now. But her work is uh, um, stock uh, control, infantry control uh, at the warehouse and uh, she helps to look after the hamsters and animals. But right now, he, she is not a case. She is not a preliminary positive case. She was first unconfirmed and then a negative case. I understand that there are seven mobile testing centers in Samshaipo so that anyone who uh, wishes to be tested can be tested. Uh, there is a family member of a 13059, a 73-year-old man, and the uh, KG uh, teacher is a 26-year-old female. 
from one house, uh, one is three years old, and the other, uh, I have to um, do some calculation. Around 42 years old. Next question, please. The second to last row, the lady in red. Good afternoon, Economic Times. So uh, for pet owners who have bought hamsters after December 22nd yet do not handle the hamsters, would they be a violation of any regulations? Well, you said that you need to test the um, hamsters. However, if they are tested negative, why do you still need to euthanize them? You said that the hamsters are imported from the Netherlands. There's actually a, a Delta variant that is are common in Pakistan. How come the animals are infected with a pack, uh, with a variant from Pakistan? If this is really animal to person transmission, how come no other uh, workers are infected in the shop? Well, why do you choose to put them down if when you are not confirmed whether the hamsters are really infected by hamsters, can you actually vaccinate them? Do you think that human lives are more important than animal lives? Who made the decision of euthanizing the animals? Is this a unanimous decision by the government? If this is, if you set a precedent, would you also need to euthanize all cats and dogs if they become infected? Thank you. Let me try to reply to this question. I'm sure uh, many of you are concerned with our decision. On euthanizing all hamsters bought on or after December 22nd. If it is found that hamsters can be infected with COVID in accordance with current literature, it can then be infected to other animals. Information shows that there is also a possibility of infecting humans. There are about 2,000 hamsters that are currently in shops or are owned by pet owners. We need to strike a balance between uh, risk and animals' lives. We want to resolve this problem as soon as possible and to cut off all transmission possible between animals and humans. We just want to be help, we want, want to be safe, and therefore, after consulting experts, we made the decision to put down the hamsters. In response to the Delta strain, uh, this Delta strain exists in other countries, especially in Europe. Well, after comparing the sequencing. Comparing our cases with European cases, there are about uh, seven that do not match. But it is confirmed that this Delta variant is not only rampant in Pakistan. I'm sorry, the speaker is off mic. We do need to handle a large number of hamsters. The number is around 2,000. And uh, proof has shown that hamsters can be infected with the uh, SARS COVID 2 virus. The incubation period can be quite long as well. The speaker is off mic. Let me try to answer your question. Hamsters can be infected with COVID, and there may be infection amongst clusters. 
and when they're infected, they will then uh, give off the um, the disease to other hamsters. We are still investigating whether humans have been infected by the hamsters. You asked about the CT value from the uh, 11 preliminary positive cases from samples yesterday. We found that uh, a few of them have a high CT value. We are going to send the samples to the Hong Kong University, and we may find that as some samples may become negative, but there are some that are already positive. You may ask why we do not vaccinate these animals and why we do not cure them. Currently, there is no vaccine for hamsters to cure them of COVID. We also need to consider that if we do not handle these hamsters as soon as possible, and when they are uh, actually um, in their incubation period and we try to feed them, it will be very hard for us to minimize the risk. And it's actually a vocational risk for our colleagues. How about we move on to the next question? Good afternoon from Dim Sum Daily. Well, this time we do not know whether it's the animals infecting humans or humans infecting animals yet. But this, these measures are only targeted towards hamsters and small, uh, w which means smaller animals right now. Other than the Causeway Bay pet shop and the 15 shops that you mentioned, there are many other pet shops and many pet shops uh, selling cats and dogs. Is there a possibility that imported cats and dogs are already infected when they arrive Hong Kong? Our pet shops allow customers to interact with animals. Would there be a risk of infection there? Would you consider taking it a step further to also test imported cats and dogs? Uh, by by euthanizing the hamsters, have you consulted with the pet owners and who is going to uh, compensate the pet owners for their loss? In relation to whether we would undergo extra testing for cats and dogs. It's, there is not a high possibility of animals being infected with COVID. Therefore, it is suggested overseas that, there, that no additional testing be implemented at import. Recent studies show that when hamsters are infected with COVID, it will spread out to other hamsters in the cluster. If they are easily infected or are found to really be infected before they arrive Hong Kong, we would not rule out the possibility of implementing extra testing for uh, the hamsters at arrival. Last two questions. Hello from Cable TV. Well, other than the hamsters being euthanized from the Causeway Bay and Taipo Warehouse, how about other animals? If it is confirmed that the hamsters infected persons, uh, do you think that it's wrong to actually uh, put down the hamsters first? I mean, if, if the people are infected by hamsters, 
uh, well, it's been two years of the outbreak. Uh, why do you not implement extra testing for imported uh, pets? I'd like to ask about the floor of the confirmed case in Tai Hang Tong. Um, is it the same unit? And for the student who studies in Delhi Memorial School, is it uh, the one in Kun Tong or the one in Mei Fu? AFCD to be followed by CHP. Uh, at uh, the pet shop in Causeway Bay and warehouse in Taipo, uh, because we've already uh, got uh, animals tested uh, positive and also environmental samples tested positive. So animals at these two places, whether they are hamsters or animals, will be uh, uh, euthanized. You asked uh, how come they haven't been tested for COVID-19 virus when they were imported. As I said, the expert committee of WHO did not uh, recommend uh, tests uh, for COVID-19 virus when imported. But with this experience, we do not rule out a new risk assessment. And in future, hamsters imported might be subject to testing. As far as I know, this is the first time we have seen virus, I mean hamsters, infected with uh, COVID-19 virus in nature. That is not in a laboratory environment. Well, um, a number of uh, reporters asked about the risk. Now, we can't rule the possibility. It may be a case of transmission from human to hamsters, or the hamsters might come carrying the virus. But then there is now infection among hamsters. So uh, if uh, there is infection of the virus uh, within hamsters, within a group of hamsters, then uh, the uh, virus may spread f among uh, further batches of hamsters. And also, there is the risk uh, of transmission to humans. So uh, we would like to minimize the risk as far as possible. And that explains the decision. Of course, we have to look at the uh, evidence. Uh, we have got uh, positive samples from hamsters. With regard to other animals, AFCD will uh, further investigate. Now, currently, uh, we have uh, positive samples from hamsters and also uh, two cases of um, human confirmed cases uh, at the same premises. Now, uh, for Tongmun, House, we're talking about a uh, flat 14. Professor Yun is meeting the media there. And for the 16 year old man, a uh, preliminary positive, uh, his uh, classmate of a previous confirmed case, they both study at Dalian Memorial School. I'm from Singtao. For the 12 hamsters uh, that are positive, I'd like to know uh, they were all from the uh, 7th of January batch. It was decided the two batches of hamsters uh, should be uh, culled. I'd like to know whether that's the decision of AFCD or that of experts. Dr. Choi said that there might be transmission among hamsters. Now, if uh, some uh, hamsters were not in contact with uh, one another. So couldn't some be spared? We're told that some hamsters in Taipo uh, are now tested negative. Can they be spared because they're not infected? And when are you going to uh, complete the euthanasia of uh, hamsters today or when? A reporter asked for families who would like to hand the hamsters to you. I'd like to know uh, hamsters uh, being uh, held at uh, pet stores and those already uh, purchased by pet owners. Now, if pet owners refuse to hand the hamsters to you, are they breaking any law? So it is, is it a mandatory measure or purely a voluntary measure? And uh, DF 
DAFC uh, talked about a ban on importation of hamsters. I'd like to know whether that only applies to hamsters or all small animals. Are you going to expand the scope of the ban? And what criteria would you use to decide whether there should be a ban? Would there be a new measures for infection control in pet shops? At the uh, warehouse of Taipo, uh, uh, are they from the January 7th batch or, or earlier batches? We can only confirm after further investigation. Nevertheless, uh, these animals are at the same premises. So, quite a number of uh, environmental samples uh, have been tested positive. So, well, whether the hamsters have been tested positive or negative, they face the same risks. So, all animals at the warehouse will be euthanized. We appeal to the public who have uh, purchased hamsters after the 22nd of December last year. We strongly urge them to uh, hand the hamsters to AFCD uh, for our disposal. Uh, this is uh, to protect themselves and their family members. We will uh, do it uh, at the pet shop of Cosway Bay as soon as possible, and then we will go to uh, the warehouse in Taipo. Speaker is off mic. Speaker is off mic. Now, this is an administrative measure. We're not invoking uh, any uh, piece of legislation to confiscate hamsters from the public. We advise them to hand the hamsters to us for our disposal. Speakers of mic. In general, importation of small animals are mainly mammals. So this time the ban covers hamsters and other small mammals include chinchilla, uh, guinea pigs and rabbits. These small mammals uh, will uh, be suspended from importation into Hong Kong and then uh, we will review our quarantine and um, testing requirements for importation of animals. The press briefing ends here. Thank you.